Hey, what's good, guys? My name is Hyperkind, and the Season 9 pre-patch for COD Mobile just dropped about an hour ago. We're going to be taking a look at the patch notes. We're going to go through the game update that just released. We're going to check out some of the maps in a future video. But with that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, what's up, guys? Okay, so as you can see on the side over here, we've got the patch notes on Reddit uh, posted up an hour ago. So let's take a look at everything. So once again, they did announce early on that Season 9's theme is going to be Conquest. Uh, pretty much starting off right from the top. So things that we don't have yet, we do not have the 10v10 mode and the access to the Battle Pass yet. So that is going to be, be... Battle Pass should be coming out, I believe they said on the 16th. Uh, depending on where you live, it should be out for me and Hawaii tomorrow. So I'm hoping for tomorrow's stream, we're going to be able to take a look at the Battle Pass. But with all of that stuff, let's check out everything on the patch. Uh, first and first and foremost, biggest thing, Gunsmith is here. We're going to be taking a look at that. Uh, players can choose for more than 100 attachments to customize their weapons. Update your favorite weapon with new visual and functional upgrades for a completely unique experience. So pretty much if you play Warzone, uh, if you played Black Ops 4, I believe they had it in there a little bit also. Uh, we have access to be able to customize our weapons a little bit further. Uh, let's see. So each weapon has up to nine attachment slots and more than 50 attachments and gun perks available. Uh, earn attachments by upgrading your weapon level. Legendary and epic weapons are now blueprints. Blueprints are variants of the base weapons that come with various cosmetic differences, as well as curated pre-equipped attachments. These attachments are pre-equipped on each specific blueprint without needing to level up the base weapon to unlock them. So if you have played Modern Warfare, um, you have legendary and epic blueprints, and when you... When you select the blueprint, it pretty much pre-customizes the weapon for you. I'm expecting that to be exactly the same. If it is, cool. If not, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it. Uh, rare and uncommon weapons are now camel options that can be equipped on your base weapons. So one of the biggest complaints that I had was that each camel, each weapon skin, was its own gun. They they got rid of that entire system and it's they pretty much you have one weapon and you're going to be able to pick from different skins or different camo options for each weapon why couldn't they have done that before i don't know i'm excited about that so cool uh highest weapon level is shared across all unlocked weapon and blueprints of that type no more needing to level each and every weapon you receive i have no idea what they're going to be doing so if you put the xp cars into every single weapon that you got i don't know how they're going to balance that out but hopefully they do something we'll take a look to see how they balance that out that stuff out when we get into the game show off your own personal style with charm stickers reticules and grindable camels so golden camels diamond camel damascus all of that stuff can should will hopefully going to be coming we're going to see uh, save your newly designed weapons as a customized weapon to equip in loadouts. Too complicated? Try the recommended blueprints. Players can see changing stats while modifying weapons. Weapon stats reflect the actual performance of the weapon. So as you're playing around in Gunsmith, when you swap out... Uh, when you swap out an attachment, you're going to actually... So it, the bars for like accuracy, rate of fire, um, all of that stuff, it's going gonna, it's gonna to adjust as you equip and unequip attachments. Cool. So next up, we've got Rank Series 6, runs from August 2020 to October 2020. So once again, we know the date. Uh, it's going to be August 16th. Technically, for me, it's the 14th. I'm out in Hawaii. It's 16th is Sunday, but with time zones, it should be coming out in time for tomorrow's stream. So if you guys see the video early, you want to be here for the new season, for the new Battle Pass and season update, be here for tomorrow's stream. All right, so new rank mode, season rewards. So we got a new epic. So now we get epic blueprints and everything. So new epic blueprint, QQ9, eye candy, epic soldier, Tengu, uh, undead crusade, a uh, new epic frame, a bomber frame. What is what is a frame? Is that battle? Uh, that, I think that's battle uh, battle royale, right? I think so. I believe so. Could be that. Uh, new battle pass. Uh, new premium battle pass rewards. So if you guys do purchase a battle pass, I believe it's 590. I could be wrong. If it is, I'll I'll do something to like just pop up a little number somewhere. So we got new epic soldiers, Reznov, 
Uh, Nikto, I'm probably butchering his name somehow. Uh, Nikto Stronghold, Rich Tofen, Lev. Cr I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna try to pronounce that. Soviet Dragon. Uh, new Epic Blueprints. Chopper Fortress. Uh, we get a Kilo Bolt. Uh, Kilo Bolt action. Lazarus QQ9 Trendsetter, and a new Striker. Ep uh, new Striker Epic Blueprint. Aerial Knot. We get a new Legendary Calling card. Take Cover, which is pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna get a, take a look at that later. And new battle dressed themed items. Not too sure what that is. Uh, we'll probably get to see that more once we get access to the battle pass. Battle pass free rewards. Uh, new base marksman rifle, the Kilo Bolt action. A lethal lightweight marksman rifle that can take the enemy down in one shot. Something else other than the DLQ or the Arctic, depending on where you hit them. Uh, new score streak shield turret. Manual operated shielded turret that can be deployed on most surfaces. Uh, we got to play around with it in Modern Warfare. It's pretty fun. Set it down in the middle of nowhere. They don't expect it. And it's just a freaking mounted turret. And just, ah, it's going to be fun. New event rewards. Uh, new challenges and missions with new rewards. Uh, new lethal equipment. Thermite sticks to any surface and burns over time upon impact. So essentially, it's a throwable lethal. Um, but you can stick it to a wall, um, depending on however you want to play. New soldier, Nikolai Belinsky. New Epic Blueprints, MSMC Rosie, and the ICR-1 Retro Nuclear. Not personally, not a fan of the MSMC, but if you're one of those people that enjoy rushing with an SMG, hey, have at it. I'll get a new skin, or you get a new blueprint. That's what we're going to say now. It's a new blueprint. Uh, new perk, Amped. Take advantage of faster primary weapon swap and launcher reload speed, excluding swapping to pistol and melee. So... If you like to run, if you like to play with a rifle and a an, fucking and a launcher, apt, you can swap faster and reload faster. Hey, that's cool. Uh, multiplayer, new featured game mode, ten v ten, as I said at the very beginning. Um, we're gonna be getting in, we're gonna be getting access to that later on in the later on in the season. Uh, but for ten v ten mode, it's gonna be available for team deathmatch and domination, and it's gonna be available on shipment. Takeoff, Meltdown, and Crossfire. Uh, for new maps, we get Shipment. If you guys have played COD before, Shipment is back. Cool. Uh, we're gonna, In a future video, we're going to be running around Shipment. We're going to take a look at everything. We're going to get to see how everything looks. And who knows? We're going to have more content on that later on, too. Uh, so Shipment's available for TDM, Domination, Free For All, Hardpoint, Gunfight, Ultra Rapid Fire, 1v1s, Kill Confirmed, and TDM 10v10s. So for train, so other stuff, training mode, movable targets and new challenges added, domination, capture progress will pause when players are not in the objective area. Oh, that's nice. So if you, if you die on the objective or if you step off the objective because you get distracted and you run off somewhere, uh, you won't lose your progress. Pretty much if you, I'm guessing if you, they do that right now in modern warfare. So if the enemy has a point, you start taking it over. Your progress is not lost. If the enemy wants to reset the progress, somebody actually has to go and stand on the point to reset that progress. Um, very cool. I like that. For Domination, Tunisia has been removed from Domination map. List and normal multiplayer. Domination, uh, Meltdown also has been removed from Domination on ranked multiplayer. Really? Okay, I wonder why. Hardpoint. Uh, the next hardpoint in hardpoint mode will be shown on the map, but cannot be captured until it is unlocked. So I'm guessing a little... Marker indicator is going to appear earlier so that people can learn to start rotating a little bit faster. Uh, a lot of people won't have to try to memorize hardpoint locations. Kind of cool. Now on to the BR mode, which they're trying to turn COD Mobile more into Warzone. And I've got to say, I like it. I'm for it. With the new gunsmith system, all weapons in Battle Royale now perform the same as their multiplayer versions. Players can modify and customize their weapon in BR, loadout, and acquire them from airdrops. Look for brand new weapons on the battlefield with various styles and attachments. So, pretty much as in Modern Warfare, your loadouts, you can pick them up from airdrops, you get access to that. You'll know exactly what you're going to be getting. Um, so when you access the airdrop, I'm guessing a menu is going to pop up. It's going to give you all of your loadouts. You're going to get to pick which one you want. Depending on how you're playing for that for that uh, BR, you, you take it, you run with it, and you kick ass. Awesome. So, new airdrop. Players can now acquire loadout customized weapons from airdrop. Every airdrop allows four players to choose one of their customized weapons from their loadouts. 
One player per one weapon per player per airdrop. So wait. Is it just one weapon or is it an entire loadout? Okay, it might just be a weapon. We'll we'll see as we get into BR. So new areas. So we've got so new areas added in BR. So we've got radar base, dormitory, outpost, and camp. New weapons, uh new BR weapons of all rarities added. The higher the rarity, the more attachments. Attachments cannot be dropped or equipped to another weapon. So new attachments, so augment your BR weapons with gun mods. More than 10 new mods to try, gun mods can be dropped or equipped to other weapons. Uh, new items. Armor plates. Recover armor durability by 50%. Use armor plates to repair your vest. Uh, ammo types now match the corresponding weapon class. Alright. So, pretty much as you can get armor plates in uh, Warzone, same thing. Grab an armor plate, stuff it into your vest, repair some of your armor. Cool. So improvement and optimizations for multiplayer. Increased death machine long range damage, slightly increased rate or slightly increased fire rate, increased spin up time after moving, moving. Uh increased sparrow drawing speed, increased range when drawing sparrow back for a shorter amount of time. Uh for war machine, we they increased grenades AoE. Decreased damage on player using War Machine. Optimized animation. Decreased Annihilator. Reloading speed after firing. Slightly slightly decreased fire rate. So those who like to... Like, Annihilator is still going to be pretty freaking deadly. But you're not going to be able to drop people quite as fast. That's cool. I like that. Annihilator 2 OP. Uh, slightly decreased Grav Spikes AoE. Which, which is cool. Honestly, Grav Spikes freaking massive but if you if you can see the the floaty jump jump in the air simple Molotov cocktail is now lethal equipment i'm kind of sad about that one i loved having Molotov cocktails as a score streak simply because i could rotate Molotov cocktail uav shock rc just grind points out that way and just continue releasing everything rip Molotov cocktail uh, significantly, uh, significantly increase Molotov cocktail damage. That's cool. People like running through the fire. They're going to die faster. All down for it. Katana's name and model updated. Haven't used it yet. I got it. I got the... I got it. Haven't played with it yet. Uh, we'll check it out with a new update. Let's see. So deploying Stealth Chopper and Cluster Strike will activate a one-time UAV map scan and reveal current location of enemies. Oh, that's kind of nice. So you get a you get a free scan, you get to see where everybody's at. That's kind of that's pretty cool. Optimized reloading animation, optimized firing animation, optimized visuals and behavior of laser sight attachments. Optimized bolt pulling animation on bolt action sniper rifles. Extended time limit limit for squad filling in the middle of a ranked multiplayer match. Fix an issue where the SMRS and war machine can shoot through walls. I haven't seen that or experienced that. Kind of messed up if they if that was happening to a lot of people. Uh, let's see. Fix an issue that UAV shows enemy movement instead of current location. Uh, fixed issue where players' FOV is narrowed while using Katana. Fixed issue that prevented players from crouching or going prone. Fix the issue with incorrect models in Attack of Undead. Cool. Uh, BR. Poltergeist. Uh, increased visibility for the first two seconds after activating camo, regardless of distance. Trapmaster, decrease electric tripwires damage and effect on enemies' movement speed. The first safe, safe zone appears earlier in game and collapses slower. Players have more time to reach the first safe zone. Okay, that's cool. Optimized water visual effect. Water reflection available in very high graphic quality. For those of you that play on higher end or newer devices, enjoy the water. I mean, I'm not too sure what kind of hit on FPS that's going to be. But hopefully it's not that much. You get to you get to take a look at the pretty water. Let's see. Decreased tank side armor. Adjusted tanks firing trajectory. So you can destroy the tank a little bit easier. And I'm not too sure how they how they adjusted it. We'll hop in a BR later on, and we'll we'll derp around with with a tank. Tank is now equipped with an electro like electronical thermal Im imaging system. So what that is, if you guys have seen the Arctic, the legendary Arctic 50 that you can get in the airdrops. It's essentially that. It should, I believe it should be that. Because that's a thermoscope that it has. Um, Very easy to see people. Like, it's going to be next to impossible to hide. 
Tank see them, tank shoot them, they die. Cool. Tank airdrop is not a random event. Wait a minute. So does it, can it not happen in some games? Or can it happen sooner? That's kind of interesting. Area names are visible while jumping. Areas with better loot are displayed with orange names. So if you guys have seen in Warzone, as you're diving out of the plane, um, you're going to get to clearly see the name of each location as you're diving towards them. I like it. It's a nice addition. I'm all for it. Um, optimize the ragdoll physics when being hit by vehicles. Optimize character movement animation. Ladder climbing animation. Player animations when moving along walls. I'm kind of curious about that one. Um, health and armor UI. Opening animation on the jump plane. So that one, even that, they pulled right from Warzone. Uh, pretty much plane kind of comes up, flies along a little bit. You see the back of this. And like, they, they pretty much, they're trying to make COD Mobile BR more like Warzone. And hey, I'm all for it. I like it. Uh, new armor penetration feedback. New jump plane audio indicators. Fix an issue with tanks spawning in unusable locations. Fix an issue where enemy where item models would disappear occasionally. Fix an issue where gunfire indicator would be the wrong direction on compass. And fix an issue where audio would cut out. Please, for the love of God, for those of you that watch the stream, it's always that I forget the name of the map on the top of off the top of my head. We'll probably have like a little picture pop up or something. But there is one map in multiplayer with each and every single game. Just about every single time, audio would cut out. Would happen almost every game. Bother the hell out of me. Fingers crossed. Well, it says it's under BR. I'm hoping they realize that it happens in multiplayer. And they fix that as well, too. Fingers crossed. All right. Next up. Optimize score logic for ranked multi... So ranked matches. Optimize score logic for ranked multiplayer. Matchmaking for lot matchmaking logic for ranked multiplayer. So I'm hoping that's going to be better team or better, uh, better ranked matches. Like you're going to have people of the same, of the skit, the same skill level all for that. Match report details. So after match reporting stuff, that's kind of cool. Players in rank protection use, lose fewer rank points after a loss. For those of you that love to do solo rank grinds up to whatever rank, myself, I do a solo rank grind to legendary. Hey, you're going to lose a couple of matches. If some of you are going to hit rank protection, you're going to lose fewer points if you don't if you don't make that win. New squad view when loading into a match. Optimize ranked battle. Optimize ranked BR score logic. Matchmaking logic for ranked BR. New match report UI. New animation for reaching each higher rank after Pro 1. We're going to get to see a lot of that with the, new, with the new season. Fix an issue where players in rank protection were recognized as lower rank. Okay, yeah, that makes sense because technically if you're in rank protection, you're still at the current rank. You have not been, you have not hit the lower rank, so it makes sense. Let's see, so system. Players can unlock most weapons, perks, operator skills, and score streaks before level 55. ICR-1, Cordite, HBK-30, GKS, KN-44, all of these guns, that's a lot of stuff, are now player level rewards. Other base weapons can be unlocked by completing challenges in Gunsmith System or within the free battle pass. Wait, complete, completing challenges in Gunsmith System? So, not everything's gonna be, gonna be done by player level, but there's gonna be challenges where you can, if there's a specific gun that you want, there's going to be challenges in the gunsmith mode that you're going to be able to run those challenges, get those guns earlier. Very cool. Molotov cocktail and combat axe are now player level rewards. Uh, players can have up to 10 loadouts in multiplayer. Loadouts 1 through 5 are locked immediately. 6 through 10 are unlocked through level progression. Players now have 5 loadouts for battle royale. All new player level rewards will be unlocked after upgrading to the new, to the new version. All new UI for multiplayer and battle royale lobbies. Players can see recommended events and claim rewards before starting a match. Very nice. You no, long, no longer have to back out uh, to claim stuff. Very cool. Players can display calling card sprays and emotes and emote and multiplayer and battle royale team lobbies. Calling cards can be configured on in-game HUD and control layouts and settings menu. Most event rewards will be claimed automatically during after match report. New after match summary and sharing UI for battle royale winners. New bug report system, optimized in-game HUD, 
optimized UI and user experience for Battle Pass, an optimized ladder climbing UI and customization option. Very nice. And lastly, if you run into any bugs, take note of them, hop into Reddit. That is the way to report stuff. The more stuff that we find that's wrong that we report, the faster they can fix it. But I've got to say, overall, this is this is a massive update. This is going to be a big change to the game. Um, I really do appreciate that they are like on the Battle Royale side. I now have a reason to actually hop into it more. So for this new season, prepare to see a lot more BR. Maybe a BR climb to Legendary and a, and a multiplayer climb to Legendary. Who knows? We're going to see what's going to happen. I'm excited for it. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a good time. Okay, now that we're in the game, uh, first things first, we've got a nice little arrow pointing to loadout. So let's go check out the new loadout. Uh, I'm guessing that's where, where we're going to get to see Gunsmith. Uh, yeah, so as we can see here, so all variants of base weapons get combined under each base weapon. I like that. I'm all for that. No longer having to score through a massive list of each gun skin. Cool. Uh, loadout and Gunsmith updates. Your legendary and epic weapons are now blueprints. Rare and uncommon weapons are now camels for each base weapon. So we're going to have a little thing for it to select blueprints and we're going to get to see legendary and epic stuff. And rare and uncommon stuff we can access under under skins or under camos. Uh, we're going to take a look at that under the Gunsmith in a little bit. Loadout and Gunsmith updates. The base weapons are now the highest level of any variant you own. All progression and upgrades are shared between base weapons and any variants. Okay, so I'm, I'm kind of curious if you level up other guns, if you get um, if you get anything additional, I'm kind of curious about that, because if if all gun variants take whatever the highest level is, like what happens to everything else? We're going to we're going to check it out. Gunsmith system introduces new attachment slots for extreme customization, customize stock, optics, barrel and other types, then save your own variants. Okay, cool. So camos, stickers, charms, and reticules. I'm all for that. All right. So here's here's the new here's the new loadout system. If you named some of your stuff, it's the names are still there. Class four. I hate search and destroy. I still hate it, but you know what? We work with it. Okay, very cool. So you can just scroll left and right on your loadouts so you can go through all 10 if you have if you have all of them unlocked already. So, let's take a look at Gunsmith. Oh, that is, that is a lot. Damn, all right. So let's take a look at... Okay, so you can actually see like differences between between each loadout. I like that. Oh, okay. So so to upgrade each gun, we can still use XP cards. I have not used the MSMC a lot. So that happened. But you know what? So each gun now goes up to level 50. So we can, we can get to pick and choose. So light flash guard. This is pretty cool. So they, they show the, they show the differences. So you, you get like silenced damage range are both increased. Uh, the negative, like the debuffs to it. ADS bullet speed, spread accuracy, ADS speed, ADS movement speed. So as you're going through and you're customizing each weapon, you can kind of take a look to see what what the advantages and disadvantages for having that specific um, attachment on for each weapon. Very cool. I like it. All right. So you're going to equip it. So and then as as same thing with Modern Warfare, uh, you can have up to five attachments. So you kind of do have to pick and choose um, how you want to. Um, how you want to have. Your gun set up. I like it. I'm all for it. Stock, so you can have no stock. YKM light stock. God, there's like so much freaking things. 
So, perks. Ooh, so sleight of hand, FMJ. Wounding, full ammo, disable, wild hip fire. Double kill and fast reload kill. So a perk also counts as an attachment also. So lasers, we've got more lasers, all right. Underbarrel stuff, so you got your grips. Ammunition. So you've got your different magazine clips. And rear grips. All right, very cool, very cool. All right, so customize. Okay, so if you have uh if you have a legendary weapon or a legendary or an epic weapon blueprint that you're using, you can't change out the camo. So charms. No charms yet. We just got into it. So we're gonna take we're gonna take a look in, into that later. So we got four different sticker types. Or four different stickers that we can attach on onto each gun. It's gonna give you a little bit more option to customize your guns a little bit more. Very nice. What is this? Oh, wow. Okay, so this is all the suggestions for different weapon attachments. Okay, very cool. You get to take a look at your gun. In a 3D model, you can... You actually can rotate this entire thing around. Very nice. I like this. And you also get to take a... You get to take a little screenshot. All right, very cool. And then you get to compare it to other weapons. I like it. I like it. So let's take a look at, so we're going to clear all attachments. Okay. So if you do clear attachments, it gives you an option. If you want to, if you want to stop that very nice. So if you accidentally choose clear, you have the option to, to say, wait, 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 go back. Very cool. You can, you can undo it. So for camos, you can now filter between rare or uncommon. And then right here, so we have all of our, our all of our uh, grindable camels. So we got sand, dragon, splinter, tiger, jungle, reptile, and completionist. Unlock by collecting all other grindable camels and playing a match with this weapon. For those of you that love to grind specific things in the game, this is going to give you so much content to do. So much content. It's going to be amazing. For me, I know I'm going to be doing it. So, hey. A lot more stuff for us to grind out now. Very cool. Once you're happy with your weapon, hit save at the bottom right. You can also name a customized weapon and you can save four different ones. So if you have a specific loadout that you like, um, you can bring it up really fast and pull it back up. Very nice. I like it. Okay. I, I, I have to know. Okay, so we got different camos. Okay, cool. So they pretty much it's just camos, stickers, and charms. You can have charms on your launchers. Customize, customize your launchers. For all you people that want to run an SMRS, and this class it has an SMRS simply for the fact that uh, I let people pick what I, what I run. If I use... Um, by winning a marble race. So, if you want to tell me what to run in a future in a future game, watch the stream. It's as simple as that. All right. So that's a that's a quick run through of the gunsmith system. We got to take a look at all like the ten different loadouts. Let's take a look at loadouts for BR. You can customize your weapons in BR loadout. Receive them from airdrops. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I see. So it's not it's not your your it's not your loadout. However, however for BR, so customized weapons, so you can have you're going to have like you're going to have a choice between assault, sniper, LMG, SMG, shotgun or marksman. And for if you know that you for your assault, if you want an assault weapon when you get to that special airdrop, you know that it's always going to be that one specific weapon customized with however you set it up in gunsmith. So 
this is going to give you even more customization in BR. Um, so that you know that once you get there, you, you know specifically what you're going to get. It's not the full loadout like what you get in Modern Warfare, but you get one weapon that you specifically want without needing to find it. Just got to find that airdrop. Very nice. I, I'm cool. I'm, I like it. Okay, and then you can show and be our lobby. Interesting. So what is customization? Okay, so this is all the, the sprays, emotes, all that stuff. Inventory. Yeah, let's go and exchange all that stuff. Okay, and all that stuff hasn't changed. Okay, very cool. I've got to say. It's, it's going to be interesting. It's a really nice change that's coming to COD Mobile. It's going to make Season 9 pretty fun. There's going to be a lot of stuff for us to grind out. Um, as for the new multiplayer maps. So we right now, so the featured mode is Shipment 24-7. Those of you who remember Shipment, hop into it, have some fun on it. It's going to be good. So we got Core Map Collection, Secondary School, Spawn Trap. Okay. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh, okay. So they even changed out, like, the filtering system. So if you want to play, like, one specific... So if you're playing with some friends, like, friends want to, like, do not want to play Frontline, pretty much you can remove Frontline from this filtering system, Core, confirm it, and then right there. So you can change... If there's a, spe a specific game mode that you don't want to play, you can remove it from the randomized list, and it'll find you any of these matches. Very cool. I like that. Featured and practice has training mode and practice versus AI. All right. Very cool. Very cool. All right. I like it. It's a nice change. What is this? Oh, okay. And you get to see. Oh, all right. That's cool. All right. I can, I can work with that. And then we got all new events. Oh, this is interesting how they changed this one up too. Daily missions. So you can now see, you can now directly see. Um, you can now directly see the challenges that you can work on. Uh, right from the multiplayer menu, you no longer have to go through menus for that. So now looking into the, the featured events that they have. We've got a Master Smith and a Cargo Combat event going on where we get to unlock the Spec Ops 4 Obstacle skin, the AK-47 Blood in the Water skin. What else did we get? We got a Pineapple Charm! You know, I gotta admit, I'm out in Hawaii. I gotta get that Pineapple. That's gonna be one that we're gonna be grinding for on the stream. We get a new Spray Emote and the HD-40 Ammo Box skin. All right, so this part hasn't really changed too, like, too much. Like, pretty much there's a bunch of tasks that you're going to have to go through. Uh, very simple to do if you guys don't know how to do it. Pretty much read the thing, do the thing, get the points, grind out the event, win. What's up, Ernest? Show the gunsmith. Uh, we took a... Uh, I did earlier, but we'll go back into it after I'm done with the recording. Now, for Cargo Combat, we get uh, the Riveting Rosie. I believe that's the name, Riveting Rosie or something. But it's a new sticker to throw on your weapon. We get a J358 Eagle Feather skin. XP cards. A new spray. Bombarian. <gasps> it's, a, it's a Pomer... Wait. It's a Pomeranian. With a, with a, with a helmet. I like it. I like it. Oh... And a new Cordite skin. The Going Dark. I, I like it, but I've I've gotta I've gotta admit. I'm still gonna run my zero G. I still gotta run the zero G Cordite. And same thing. Do the stuff. Get the points. Win. And also we have new seasonal uh seasonal events to do. 
first one that's up assault rifle expert get kills um using the assault rifle or this one right now actually no just upgrade any assault rifle really that's it what do we get oh, okay this is the icr1 retro nuclear i'm not a fan of the icr1 i mean i i'm pretty sure i could adjust to it but i i kind of like how this looks more than the other skins that we've gotten for it. Hey, that's cool. So we also get new charms. Uh, we get a sticker. And that's a new... Uh, what is that? The... The thing that you show on your, on your player profile. Very nice. Let's see, what else? That's, that's pretty much it. I've got to say, I'm pretty excited about the... Calling card! That's it. I forgot the name of it. But that's that's pretty much everything that came out in the update for the new maps that's going to be dropping. Uh, that I'm going to be doing that in a separate video. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up this video here. What do you guys think of the update? Are you guys excited about it? Are you happy that for BR, it's finally getting even more love? They're bringing it to what... They're bringing a lot more things that they have in, in Warzone over to COD Mobile. What do you guys think of the update? Post up in the comment section below. I'll see you guys for the next uh, for the next video. Peace.